Okay, so it is raining hardcore here in Japan. I apologize if the sound is fucked up on this clip. It's either don't make a clip for like the whole next week. It is literally the rainy the rainy season here or just try to fight through. Uh, I adjusted my mic the best I could. So uh, before we get started, I am just going to be an asshole like I normally am. Tell you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the like button. Let's get this to all time highs. Hit the bell if you want my uh, notifications. Also find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Now, how about we start the fucking question? Now, Tariq Tariq from YouTube, my last video, said, can you make a video related to pyelonephritis condition? And that's what I did here, okay? So USMLE questions will often give you very buzzy descriptors in the vignettes, such as costovertebral angle tenderness, that's kidney punch. Uh, that refers to pyelonephritis, okay? Inflammation of the kidney, infection of the kidney. Uh, however, I did not give you that detail. I gave you this biopsy image because this is high yield on the USMLE. Now, if you Google pyelonephritis, the histo slides, you'll see all different types of images. However, it's this one that I jacked from some website that most closely reflects the ones I've seen on the NBME. In fact, they actually repeat, the NBME repeats uh, the same image of pylo across the old exams. Obviously, for copyright reasons, I can't use their image, so I'll just jack some random one off the internet instead. So this is a high yield image for pylo. These blue cells, the arrows, apparently are pointing to the neutrophils, okay? So 28-year-old 28 28 woman, 35 weeks gestation. You need to know pregnant women, especially later in pregnancy, they're prone to pylo because of decreased ureteral peristalsis because progesterone slows ureteral as well as biliary peristalsis. So you can get increased risk of cholesterol stones uh, in the biliary tree in pregnancy, and also increased risk of pylo because of backup to the kidney, okay? So it's like I'm going to go on a million fucking tangents, but real quick, when we talk about biliary stones, you need to know estrogen actually upregulates HMG coli reductase, and progesterone slows biliary peristalsis. You get your stones. However, when we talk about Pylo, just remember, progesterone slows your ureteral peristalsis. Now we look at the answer choices. We're looking for progesterone, okay? Which which of the following uh, reflects the action of progesterone? So we'll, we'll just go through sequentially. Choice A, maintenance of corpus luteum, wrong fucking answer. This refers to beta HCG, okay? Or just HCG, human chorionic gonadotropin. It just happens to be the beta subunit we test for because the alpha subunit is shared between FSH, LH, TSH, and HCG. So if we test for alpha subunit, it's not going to mean anything. It's nonspecific. We test for beta for pregnancy. But uh, maintenance of corpus luteum is performed by HCG, okay? So we get a pregnancy. We get a placenta. We have a trophoblast. Syncytiotrophoblastic cells of the placenta secrete HCG. That maintains the corpus luteum. The corpus luteum, when you have ovulation, you're going to get the graphene follicle rupture. You have the, the corpus luteum now, which is the remnant of the follicle, and that's secreting progesterone. And then progesterone is going to maintain the endometrial lining to maintain the pregnancy. Okay? So that's our answer here, maintenance of endometrial lining. There's high yield points I want to make. Relax. Okay, so if you have pregnancy, you have the HCG maintain the corpus luteum. The corpus luteum secretes progesterone to maintain the endometrial lining. If we don't have the HCG present, we can't maintain the corpus luteum. The progesterone secretion is not maintained. Therefore, we can't maintain the endometrial lining. We get apoptosis. That's high yield apoptosis of the endometrial lining and menstruation. Okay, not fucking atrophy. That's menopause, apoptosis. So choice B, maintenance of endometrial lining, we said is our answer. That's going to be progesterone. Uh, choice, and I should also mention that the syncytiotrophoblast of the placenta, uh, beta HCG will decrease about eight to 10 weeks. Okay, so it peaks at about eight to 10 weeks. And the reason is because the placenta will take over production of progesterone at that time. 
So if the placenta takes over production of progesterone at starting at eight to 10 weeks of pregnancy, we no longer need the corpus luteum. Therefore, we no longer need the HCG to carry out the function of, to maintain that corpus luteum, okay? So choice C, stimulation of androgen production. This refers to luteinizing hormone, LH. So luteinizing hormone from the anterior pituitary will stimulate the theca interna cells in the female to secrete androgens, okay? Androstenedione, testosterone. That's what LH is doing. Wrong fucking answer, clearly, okay? Choice D, stimulation of endometrial growth. This refers to estrogen. Okay, so during the follicular phase, the proliferative phase, first half of the menstrual cycle, uh, predominantly estrogen. That's what's going to be rising. That's going to, that is what is going to uh, stimulate the growth of that endometrial lining. Okay, and then it's the second half of the menstrual cycle, the luteal phase. Uh, that is going to uh, be when you have the progesterone following ovulation. Choice E, stimulation of follicular development. This is obviously FSH, follicle stimulating hormone. So FSH is going to act on the granulosa cells, okay, in addition to the follicular development. So we have LH acting on theca interna cells. Theca interna cells secrete androgens. And then we have FSH acting on the granulosa cells. Granulosa cells secrete aromatase, which will convert those androgens from the theca interna cells into estrogens, okay? And, and then, yeah, FSH obviously stimulating follicular development. Okay, a lot we can chat about. Uh, I know you don't need to see 18 minute clips. You want me to keep things concise here. So I'll obviously make more questions. You know the deal. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.